Raids, searches, arrests, pogroms and robberies of luxurious mansions of the Russian aristocracy. Yes, the revolution of 1917 turned the whole way of life of the empire upside down. Those who did not have time to flee abroad and secretly spend their jewelry were deprived of their wealth and finances forever. And not only treasures, but also his own life. However, among the representatives of high society and members of the royal family were many of the lucky ones who managed to fool the Czechists around the finger and so hide coins and jewelry that even the most ardent bloodhounds to find the bourgeois good could not. I wondered how exactly the nobles smuggled the purest diamonds and majestic rubies through the revolutionary cordons. It turns out that everyone fantasized in a very original way. As they say, who can do what? For example, the famous ballerina Matilda Kshesinskaya, the former lover of Cesarevich Nicholas, who received many gifts and from other members of the nobility, at first concealed jewelry in her own home. Although it was risky, because the soldiers searched every nook in the mansions of the privileged classes, money bills former Prima kept in the window aperture, and jewelry placed in the hollow leg of the bed, Necklaces, brooches, bracelets, and tiaras she securely packed in a roll and attached to it a small rope to quickly retrieve the treasure from the mini hiding place in case of need. Kshesinskaya left behind memories in which she noted that many ladies first disguised expensive diamond rings directly in the jars with lipstick. But the Bolsheviks almost immediately figured out this trick and boldly gutted every such jar. In addition, the owners of jewelry could not keep their mouths shut and often bragged to each other about who and how they hid the contents of their jewelry boxes. Of course, the information could be overheard and easily get to the hiding places. The most resourceful, in my opinion, was Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna Romanova, who hid diamonds from a gorgeous tiara right in front of the nose of the omnipresent soldiers. No matter how the Bolsheviks searched the rooms of the princess, but no one could not guess that her stones are right on the table in an ancient ink bottle. Maria Pavlovna poured out the contents of the ink pot, divided the diamond crown into pieces, and placed the pendants at the very bottom of the container. She poured a layer of paraffin on top of the shining stones and masked everything with ordinary ink. Imagine how mad the Red Army soldiers were when they ripped open all the curtains, sofas, armchairs and cushions during the search, but no one noticed the big glass inkwell. Men hid their wise jewelry in the elaborately crafted tips of expensive walking sticks. Their other halves placed stones in the heels of shoes and in the insides of soft toys. But these tricks were very widespread, and every search began with the examination of shoes and cutting teddy bears of children. But ordinary bars of toilet soap helped a lot. Gathering on the road, Ladies and gentlemen cut out containers inside the bars, hid their favorite ornaments in them, covered them with soap shavings, and carefully washed such a piece for the surprise. The bar looked like a large soap chip. It could easily be transferred in an iron box. Cocoa cans were also a great idea. In such a container, gems were poured with melted candle wax, and a lamp was attached on top. And voila, a large candle holder was ready. Well, and the most risky craftswoman managed to clean the egg, hide inside small pendants or brooches, carefully glue the shells, and put such an egg in a basket with a dozen or two real eggs. But Princess Vera Dmitrievna Lobanova Rostovskaya did not reinvent the wheel, and did, it seems, predictable. She often built on her head-high hairstyles, and therefore was able to disguise in the lush hair a whole arsenal of precious things. Nobody guessed to touch the intricate hairstyle of the princess, and therefore she successfully exported the jewelry abroad. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the Jewelry Stories channel, and click on the bell not to miss new videos.